Hi, my name is Della Barbado, and I'm the Director of Education for the Houston Chapter of Native Prairies Association of Texas. And here we are at Deer Park Prairie. Deer Park Prairie is about 35 miles east of downtown Houston, and it is a remnant prairie. That means that it has never been plowed and it's never been developed. So the plants that live here have evolved here and have been here for thousands of years. What native plants do is they attract our wild insects. This land's never been touched, so the insects and the plants have evolved here together. Today, we're gonna to be going out into Deer Park Prairie and we are going to be netting insects. So what we're gonna get is maybe some grasshoppers and katydids and butterflies, but they're all wild. So let's go get some wild. Yeah, still got a little bit of growing to do. They're very similar to grasshoppers. You can see their legs are much wirier and longer. This little guy is a baby praying mantis. Praying mantis have the front two legs that look like they're praying when they hold them up close. And that's what they use to grab insects. There's a little green lace wing. Most native bees are solitary. The bumblebees, they will nest in the ground, more in a colony. But most of our native bees are pyre wasps, leaf cutters, all those are solitary. And usually you can get close and not get stung, or too busy doing their bee thing. But uh, if you get too close to a honeybee hive, then you get stung, they swarm. So they only are protecting their young. All right, this is called the Eastern Pond Hawk. This is a female. These are our most plentiful and common dragonfly that we have probably in Harris County. Dragonflies are voracious hunters, both in the larva stage, which live in the water, and also as the adult stage. You can see the jaws, see it biting, and even as larva, they are very predaceous. They have a lower jaw that can extend about a third of their body in a millisecond and catch little fish and little bugs underwater. You can see their legs have little spines on them, and as they fly, they can make like a little basket with their legs and catch bugs in the air. The eyes will almost touch and make up just about most of the head. Whereas damselflies, which are akin to dragonflies, their eyes are on the ends and they never touch or come close. Like I say, this is a female eastern pond hog. You can tell that because she's green and because of her ovipositor at the end of her abdomen. The males start out green and then turn blue. And once again, what makes an insect? We've got a head, a thorax, and that's where all the legs attach, and then the abdomen. And this is a little male, Blue Dasher.
Insects are very interesting to study. And if you would like to study them in your yard, all you have to do is plant some native plants. Remember, whenever you are choosing plants to go in your garden or your front or backyard, or even your pocket prairie on your schoolyard habitat, plants that are native to your area are always the best for local pollinators and insects. And when you buy them, make sure that they have not been treated with insecticides. Well, I hope you have enjoyed studying these insects as much as I have. 